with Chris Giddens. WAC's new show, we highlight some of the more beautiful, popular, and well-known attractions all over beautiful Lake Martin. I guarantee you, whether you've lived here your whole life or you're just visiting for the weekend, you're going to learn something new about this beautiful lake right here on this show. So, hey, sit back, relax, let me do all the work. Just don't let me have all the fun. I'm Chris Giddens. Welcome to Lake Martin. Uh, well, welcome back to the Lake Life. I'm Chris Giddens. Today we're here at Wahoo's Grill. Listen, if you've never been to Wahoo's Grill, you're really missing out on a great atmosphere, a great, a beautiful place. I mean, it's just phenomenal the way it looks inside. Great food. Perfect. I'll be honest, because I'm going to tell you something. I sat out of here waiting for cameraman to go kick tires, whatever he was doing, and, uh, I didn't took an out real quick. Look, I'm going to get woke up. We're going to get in here. We're going to talk to Miss Chris, and we're going to get this thing started and uh, really show you guys what you're missing if you hadn't been to Wahoo's Grill yet. Hey, guys, we finally made it inside right here to Wahoo's. I'm going to tell you something. It looks absolutely amazing in here. I'm sitting beside right now, owner, proprietor. You can throw any kind of word you want out. Yeah, author, cytotechnologist. Yeah, just all the above. We can do all those things. Yeah. We got a renaissance woman right here. And uh, I'm going to tell you, it really shows. Looking at your restaurant is absolutely gorgeous. I've gotten the opportunity to eat here one time. The food's good also. I, I don't mean to make that sound bad. Yeah, it, the food's really good. There you go. But this place is really, really beautiful. I, How I tell you, it's, it's, to me, it's really special as far as being on the lake, and it's it's quaint, it's comfortable, it's a, it's it's a great family atmosphere, and I have my regulars and stuff like that. We all love to just catch up on the week in the whole nine yards and Absolutely. eat some great food. And drink, of course. Uh, you know, we've been known to throw one back around the, uh, around Kalaja country. But what I'm getting at here is uh, I, it's really it's a gorgeous place. Your, your place looks right now. Um, how, how long have you been here? Uh, well, actually, as far as Wahoo's Grill, it's only been open since September. But where is Wahoo's Grill located? Okay, I'm on, it's actually 2415 Red Hill Road, but I'm in the Red Hill Community District. Mm -hmm. um, actually, the best way to really tell you is probably two miles off of 63. Um, as you go to the Kalaja restaurant going north. That's the way we got here. Right, right. And actually, I'm only 10 minutes from Tallahassee. It's an easy access. It really is. You can't beat that. And if you're coming from Alex City, uh, the best way to go is you come across uh, Children's Harbor Bridge, like you said, uh, and go right past there after Nails Convenience Store. You take that, uh, that left, 229. 229, right at Mitchell's Marine, and I'm two miles on the left. A big, big beautiful yellow building. And if you're coming from Tallahassee, it's quicker to go 229, but if oh, you're absolutely. coming from, if you're coming from Davil. If you come from Davil now, you would go down 49 rather, turn on 50 going across the Martin Dam. There we go. That's where my 50 comes in. There you go. That's where your 50 comes in. And just stay straight. Once you intersect 50 and 229, I'm a quarter mile on the right. Now, it, it doesn't get any easier to find that. I guarantee if you've ever drove by here, you've seen it. Uh, you you wasn't trying to camouflage the building, were you? No, no, not absolutely. <laughs> and we got our, a great logo. You can't miss it. I mean, it, it's fantastic. Everything, I, I can't put my finger on anything that's a problem here, to be there honest you. with you. There you go. Uh, and, and I'm a very skeptical person when it comes to this kind of stuff but uh, you've got the look you've got the food you've got the service you've got everything that right. you need right. and um, like I say it took you some time to get here right. you, you went through the through the off season through the winter exactly. and and y'all doors are still open so it's time for summer it's time to get folks oh, packing yeah. in oh absolutely and I got a great staff and the food's great I mean the atmosphere great I've got seating for almost uh, 30 outside wow so, I mean it's just it's really it's a you it just it's a good field place to come to. Absolutely. So they're a double threat. They got the inside, outside, uh, and, and outside. It's gorgeous out there too. You still got the hills and you've got the pond with lily pads. Now, did they just come in there like that? Or I'm afraid not. <laughs> uh, so, so some thought went into that. Well, some thought went into it and somebody planted just one or two and the next thing you know, there's not, now you can't see the water. <laughs> it's like kudzu for water, I right? Kudzu for water, exactly. <laughs> what are your hours of operation, Miss Chris? Well, it's Tuesday through Saturday. Uh, we open at 4, 4 to 9, Tuesday through Thursday, and 4 to 10 on the week, um, Friday and Saturday. Friday, Saturday. We're closed on Sunday and Monday, um, and I have to say it's a great time. I think a lot of people appreciate 
I get a lot of regulars that like to drive from Alex City. They like to eat eat a little bit early, so it, we accommodate those people. Yeah, well, you can't beat that. So they start at four now, and like you say, if you're an early eater, and uh, I, I'm kind of an early eater. I worked at restaurants for a long time, and uh, as job? A, <laughs> probably <laughs> uh, <laughs> worked at a lot of restaurants before, and um, and, and four o'clock is a great time to open up because uh, if you're in the restaurant industry, uh, you don't eat when it's time to eat because that's when people. Especially on the lake. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, when you get a hankering for a hamburger at 4 o'clock and then maybe get back on the water, I mean, you've got that opportunity here, fish or oysters or whatever, which oh, we'll go like, over in a minute. So, If you're like me, we go, uh, we, we bust up on the lake, and you'll, you'll ride there for so long. You'll go for a long time without eating anything, then all of a sudden you're hungry right yeah. then. Absolutely. And uh, it's usually about 4 o'clock. I've been here 24 years. I know exactly how that feels. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, it's one reason I built this restaurant. Well, so now, I have a place to come eat. Now, now you, now, now you've got the Wahoo on your menu as your logo, right? That's a, a logo, but not the fish itself. Now, that's not a Wahoo fish. It is a Wahoo fish. That's what I thought. I don't serve Wahoo. Yeah, well, nobody wants to eat it. It ain't no good to eat. Okay. You know, there. <laughs> what we're getting into though, but you've got the Wahoo right there. Now, um, do you know the official name for that fish, by the way? Is it mackerel? Oh no. Oh no. It's an Ono from Hawaii. Now, so so you don't you, you say you don't serve the Wahoo, right? Correct. All right. So I, I would have pegged that as your specialty. So what what would you say is your specialty here? I, I do have a catch of the week, which I try to get a grilled fish now that we're open uh, more on a regular basis. Sure. So that's going to be a most but popular. I mean, my ribeye is popular. My Wahoo's bites are very popular. Mm. Our chicken wings. Um, our, uh, our fish fillet. I mean, the menu is endless, but our fried oysters, raw oysters, and jubilee oysters are definitely tops. Now, right. everything that you said right there sounded good, but you caught me with raw, fried, and jubilee what now? Jubilee oysters. Raw <laughs> oysters? Raw oysters. You've got oysters here? Yes. All right, now, I, I've been here, and I've ate. I didn't know you had oysters, so. Absolutely. I have raw oysters, and I used to have them on the half shell, but now we don't. We, but it's still fresh, raw oysters. Mm -hmm. And the Jubilee oysters is really to die for in a little casserole dish with about six oysters with crab meat, shrimp, mozzarella cheese, and baked to die for. I mean, tasty. And also another thing I have that is real popular and is catching on is a seafood flatbread. It's a pita bread with mm -hmm. a citrus sauce, with a, a little bit of shrimp. The citrus sauce is the key. Oh yeah. And a little bit of the, uh, the mozzarella cheese on top and baked. Tell you what, it's a starter it's to die for. Oh my goodness, I, I man, I cannot wait to get a good look at this menu and figure out what I'm gonna eat. Now, then, you you were talking about oysters. Let me ask you something. Where can you get oysters anywhere around here? Uh, I'm not aware of any <laughs> places. I mean, I mean I, they, come, they come fresh from the Gulf. I mean, everything that we do, it does come fresh from the Gulf. But the oysters are definitely, I mean, you've got, as far as, you've got to have a dates on them, so there's nothing. I mean, it's always going to be fresh. Absolutely. It's not going to yeah. be a problem with that. But I just want to iterate, too, that we do have uh, a Chris, Chris's Blue Water Salad. Oh, wow. And you can put, it, which has uh, cherry tomatoes, cucumbers, mandarin oranges, and you can have fried or grilled shrimp on it, chick fried or grilled. Um, and or you can have the catch of the day. Everybody loves the wings. I, where chicken wings are great too. So if you've been to Wahoo's before, you got to come back and check out the changes you're gonna make, right? Yeah, they're they're, they're slight, but they're, I think that it's just it's really good. And our burgers are to die for. We have a Wahoo burger, which has a uh, kind of top with a feta cheese olive sauce. Wow, it's really good. It's it real sounds good. like you've got some really good stuff. It's and real simple. This is real simple menu, and also we have uh, you know three things for the kids which is great, which is a, a, a Wahoo grilled cheese and a chicken tenders and a little kid's burger. Well, you can't beat that. You got the kids, I mean, you got burgers and entrees, salads, all these things. And uh, it's like you said, it don't look like it's an overbearing menu, but you right. got a lot of things. Right. And uh, here for everybody. Absolutely. Absolutely. And also, too, we're a full bar. We have uh, the liquor, we have the beer, and we have the wine. And you cannot beat that. So. Absolutely. 
Guys, you got to come out here and try Wahoo's Grill. They've got a little bit of everything. Uh, well, I don't want to say everything because y'all are kind of specialized and you know what you do absolutely, well. Absolutely, absolutely. But like I said, there's a little something for everybody. Absolutely. Whether you wanted something fried or grilled or a sandwich or a burger, it's all there. Oysters, shrimp, all of it's good. There you go. Uh, or even a good ribeye. You know, I'm a sucker for ribeye. We sell the heck out of them. Gosh, you can't beat that. <laughs> yeah, so when you guys come in, take a few minutes to talk to her. You'll be, you will be absolutely impressed with what you find with her and uh thank you so much for sitting down with me here and i'll catch up with you in a little bit okay you got it appreciate it Perfect. all right thanks hey guys i'm sitting here now with kk kk how are you doing darling i am just great thank you uh, good stuff and uh i'm gonna tell you i'm just walking around looking around here and really pulling up outside you can tell it's a great place but walking in here and seeing all this stuff on the walls where, where did all this stuff come from we have a, a local artist that is a friend of the owner that has offered to donate her artwork to us that we can sell to whoever wants to come in that's interested. So she's done a great job. That, that is cool. So so we've got local people doing our artwork here. Plus on top of that, we got some custom maps right here. Is that right? Yes, we do. We had a map custom made in Birmingham strictly for our restaurant. Wow, that is cool. And Now let me ask you this. With the big fish on the wall up here, did you catch it? Not hardly. Who caught that big fish? Um, I'm not real sure. That fish was donated to us. <laughs> well, uh, then I caught that fish that's on the wall. Wahoo's Grill. Tell everybody. Well, listen, uh, hey guys, been, it's been already a good time here. It just seems like everybody here is super nice. And and uh, can, can you kind of what? Do you, what's your customer base like? Do you get do you get a bunch of grumpies in here? What's that like? No, we don't get a bunch of grumpies. We have a lot of great people that we enjoy seeing. We have a lot of regulars. Um, we have an older customer base that comes in that we love to cater to. So we have a variety of people that come in and enjoy us. Man, you can't beat that. So it, it doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are. You're going to have a good time here. I love the music. Everything is just perfect. And I'm really picky with my restaurants. If the music is up or down just a little too much, it'll really frustrate me. You know what I mean? Yes, I do. But you guys have nailed it. Yeah, and to me, it's spot on in here, exactly what you guys uh, are, are doing here. And outside, you've got the indoor and outdoor seating, but outside is such a pretty view. It is a nice view. We have the outdoor pond outside. We have several deer that come up in the evening. Really? So you can sit outside and enjoy the atmosphere and watch the wildlife, and it's a great experience. And bring a 22. No, sir. I can't bring a 22 up here and kill one of them deer. No, sir. We enjoy watching them. I enjoy watching them fall to the ground. Not going to happen here. But I can fish in the pond, right? Um, the pond is just for looks. I'm going to fish in the pond, too. Guys, you heard it right here. KK said it. Go tell Chris you can hunt and fish right out here on the outside, right? Not going to happen. <laughs> KK, thank you so much for sitting down and talking to me. Appreciate it. No, I hope you have a good night. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm standing back here with Justin right now. Justin, what's your title here? I'm the kitchen manager. Kitchen manager, okay. Basically, my title is I'm the kitchen manager and also the top chef here, or the cook. Well, uh, and, and I'm looking at what you're cooking. It looks like you got a killer burger right there. Uh, and then, did you say that's my grouper thing? Yes, sir, that is your grouper. That oh. is the special catch of the week. Oh, you can't beat that. I love anything on a cast iron. And uh, now, you've got charcoal under here. Tell me about that. I've got lava rock and I've got ceramic briquettes. That's what it does, is it even outs the heat. Usually when oh, you're wow. running on the grill and you have charcoal in certain places, it doesn't give you adequate heat. Man, that is the coolest thing because I've worked at restaurants before, but it's always been like you said, it's right where that element is. That's what's going to be hot and everything else will be cold. That's right. That's right. And if you want a perfect state, you got to have adequate heat. So this is where you can come find a perfect state. I'm going to tell you something. Everybody don't do that, right? No. <laughs> so this is one of their, I don't even want to call it a secret because I guess other people would know how to do this, but it's one, plan, one thing that you guys have implemented that, that has got to make a big difference in everything, right? It does. I've had a lot of people come here and say, man, that's the best steak I've ever had. My goodness. On a beautiful grouper. That is a big old piece of fish, too. You can tell it is not on the bottom. No, that's just right. Oh, it's on that cast iron? Yes, sir. Oh, my goodness. Well, you can't beat that, guys. you got to come out here. I can't take my eyes off. Guys, you got to get out here to Wahoo's. Uh, Justin, thanks for taking a minute to talk to me, Thank brother. Thank you. Thank you very much. Come out here to Wahoo's. Guys, we finally got our food here. It did not take long at all, Chris. And I'm going to tell you something. It looks fantastic. I can't wait to dig in. And I tell you what, I'm going to go on and get started. Why don't you give them the line? See you at Wahoo's. <laughs> Whew.
I am full. I tell you what, they set me up right in there, and I guarantee you they'll set you up right too. It's a beautiful place. They've got some funky hours of operation, but you will be back for more. Guys, stay tuned. There's more Lake Life, WAC's new show coming up right after this.